it's done afterwards. Uh, I didn't for quite a while, but and I still don't have that much of a grasp on it. But I expect to maybe have another go at it soon. Z pause, minus Z pause, but um, yeah, uh, I'm not. I'm really not a fan of maths because, um, well, I'm not very good at it. And that's why I left engineering a long time ago, as some of you guys know. But there you go. If you want to do aimbots, you gotta do maths. There's no way around it. So what we're doing here. Uh, let me just get that applied data vector. And that's the beauty of having a function like get 3D distance. That way we just call the function once. You know, we don't have to worry about the code anymore instead of constantly writing the code. Times 180. And this is how we get our mouse to position itself. Pi. Remember pi what we defined at the beginning? That's what it is. Um, so I'm just gonna pitch X. This is our mouse X. A lot of people call this online uh, pitch, and that's why I called it pitch X, so you guys will know that pitch is mouse X. Uh, and what we're doing is we're finding the new value of where to put our mouse and that's where we're going to do it so this one isn't too different uh, also known as your which is y axis equals minus gonna make sure you put that minus in there float math same thing again math dot a tan two uh, and then open that enemy data vector dot x plus we'll have to confirm these in a second because I don't want to make any mistakes play data vector dot x plus so we're taking away and then we're sending uh, enemy data vector y plus uh, minus player data oops 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 vector dot uh, y plus yeah. what oh. y plus yep I'm happy with that divided by pi oops 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 it's just going to do a bit of a thingy there. Divided by capitals pi, as we defined at the beginning again, times 180 plus 180. So yeah, once again, guys, if you really want to understand this, you need to go and get some Pythagoras. If you just, you know, if you're just interested in seeing the aimbot work, then you don't have to do this, obviously. So I'm just going to confirm things. So okay, so all this seems fine to me, and uh, we're going to keep going. So uh, once again, let's find where we've defined player base before, so we can steal it again. So let's just steal that again. And at this bit of code, we're going to say in player base, remember, we're at aim at target right now, equals, um, yeah. So we're doing the exact same copy and paste. And what are we doing? We are going to overwrite memory. So we're going to go memory dot write float. And we're going to go player base, which is what we just defined. Uh, it's where it was pointed to in memory plus main player, right? This is a bit of a long one, as usual dot offsets dot x mouse what are we writing to that address we are writing your your y sorry uh, I'm very confused here yeah your y that's what we're writing to it x -mouse. actually I just realized I got them wrong I thought x was there <laughs> yeah anyway so it looks like pitch is um, oh, I'm such an idiot looks like no I can't I don't know what I did here actually I just confused myself pitch X it looks like pitch is the y-axis so I want to do something quickly to change this. this is something I didn't have in the tutorial so pitch pitchy and that becomes your X yox so let's do that and then do that so I believe those are the right ones hopefully and that's it that's how I aim at target so this is the function and the math that is used to aim at our target. And this will work with quite a number of games. Now, certain games it won't work with, so you'll have to get your own different maths for it. But it should work with quite a few games as long as you've got a different or uh, I mean a similar system to this game, which a lot of games do. Okay, so um, so we don't do have that. And now let's go back to aimbot. Oh, is aimbot? Okay, so enemy's target else. Okay, if target's not equal to minus one, it's right at the end. Fox target equals target uh, if, and then we call aim at target now this is if everything's gone okay we're gonna aim at our enemy I'm gonna say enemies data vec uh, enemies data vec target is our victim and player data vec and that is it that is all we need for that function I believe we are very close to getting finished uh, what's wrong with this does not exist in the current what do you mean it does not exist Enemy addresses. Enemy addresses. Is, 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 is. They are the closest to the top. Enemy addresses. Enemy. Oh, I capitalized it. Capitalized. 
And I believe that's what we're looking for. So we've got that there. Uh, build succeeding, which is good. Uh, what are we missing? Uh, aim and target's done. Play dead effect. Yeah, so all we need to do is call these setup enemy vars. It's got text message. I'll be checking that out soon. So let's do setup enemy vars. Okay. So all this one's doing is what we did to the main player at the beginning. So player data, EN1. Enemy 1 is what we're doing here. New player data. You remember <coughs> at the beginning when we were collecting all this information for the um, player 1, um, the enemy that is, that's why I call it EN1. Um, we were collecting that because we, we need it for this part. So I'm going to go my process. And this is how we get. Do you remember when we had this here? You had we had this thing. Do you remember? This is how what we're getting right now. This part, because cheat engine grabs them like this, so we're going to use it just like that. And then we're going to add this number in front of it to work with it. So we're going to go my process zero uh, da -da 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 -da, dot main module dot base address dot two n thirty two plus right plus and what we stored earlier was this number so let's grab that number whichever number you've got make sure you grab that oops not two pluses plus that and make sure you do zero times that number otherwise uh, the compiler won't be happy with you and that's that one and then we say en1 dot multi level equals en1 multi level that's the one remember we declared that at the beginning I don't know if we gave it legit values though did we uh, yeah, we did. 0430, that's excellent. Remember 0430? It was 04F4 before, remember? But we did it 30 because we want to point at the address just before the coordinates. Oh, where was I? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, right there. The end. Okay, excuse me. So back to setup enemy vars. Um, EN, so en1.offsets will be equals main player. Dot offsets that's it the offsets are the same in some games they might not be but they are the same the same place where our coordinates are in relation to the enemy and the player um, they'll be exactly the same so then the final thing you want to do enemy addresses dot add you remember that thing we declared at the beginning we want to declare this en1 so if you want to add extra enemies obviously we're only going to do this for two but if you guys want me to, you can just if you, if you want me to do extra plays and show you, uh, just ask me for the pointer scan tutorial and I will definitely do it. I mean, I'm sure you guys can do it if you go back and follow how I got one of them. You can get the other guys. Um, either way, I'll put it on the final solution, which is coming up soon, and just download that and you can see the other addresses, which should be fine as well. So we add this here so we can then scan through it. Uh, at aimbot function which is here you see so we we add that there straight away and then we go through the players obviously we've only got one player for now and press f6 and that succeeded so hopefully this should have our aimbot work right now okay so um i had to quick make a quick stop there to check how my fraps is doing so what we're going to do is going to test this we're going to we're going to go do a full-on test i've tested this myself maybe you guys have tested it whilst you're uh, doing this and hopefully it's working okay Remember, we've written a hell of a lot of code and we haven't tested anything yet, so there's a chance there's going to be mistakes, but that's okay, because we're going to fix them. Uh, files required, I'm going to run the game. So, first thing that happens is I click this, and obviously you can guys you guys can make this read-only, which will fix it. So, I click here, there's a bunch of processes, that's good so far. But there's a lot more to it than just this. So, let's run Soul Cube. That fuck off to you. Um, so, I'm just going to do a check here to make sure Fraps is recording the right screen or I'm gonna cry because there's a lot of work here alright so here we are at the game uh, first thing I'm going to do is um, choose to grab onto this game so where is this game AC client is what we're looking for AC client AC client it usually comes up straight away I don't know why it didn't here oh, because I wasn't running the game straight where's AC client there it is beautiful I actually leave this could not connect could not connect to process. Input string was not in the correct format. That means a mistake straight away. That sucks. D. Actually, I think it's because I put a text there like an idiot. Hang on, let's try this again. I see client. Let's look for it. The hell is it? Oh, there it is. Is it there? I'm sure I saw it here just now. Just don't type anything onto the thingy. Hopefully, that was a mistake. There it is. Nope. Fuck's sake. 
Alright, let's try and find out what the error was. So obviously we know the error was could not connect the process right here. This is where the error was. So uh, I'm just going to compare this to my old code. So try for an i process.length i plus plus. If game choice is, oh that there you go, forgotten if there. My bad. So if game choice uh, dot selected item selected item dot to string dot contains my process i dot process name um, then you run this so that's what we're going to wrap around that whole piece of code hmm, piece of code so we do that and that should hopefully one two three try there's a try hopefully that should somehow fix that um, you see client where is that and then, and then, and then, and then, Oh come on! There you go. There you go. So first thing we're on. Look, there's our coordinates. That's excellent so far. At least we know our coordinates are jumping, uh, working. Actually, hang on. We got the X and Z pause mixed up for some reason, and that should not be right. So I was going to do a quick test on my other one just to make sure, because this comes to that thing we were talking about earlier, guys. Do you remember about? Oh yeah. So Z pause is being displayed as Y pause but don't worry about that you can always change it yourself um, so once again let's go here run that uh, you see client where are you? you see client and I'm holding right mouse it's not going to do anything because I'm playing by myself uh, so we're going to start a death match against another player we're going to go to Dallas and here we are here we are first thing it's aiming at somewhere which is not the enemy so First of all, uh, probably our maths for me that's wrong, or something we did wrong. As you can see it's snapping there. It's doing that, but it's doing one but not the other. So, first of all, we've got a mistake there. So, let's try and find out what this is and fix it. So, let's go to the uh, aim at target part, because I think if anything's going to be here. So, aim at target. Um, um, so, pitch. Um, your your is the second thing to be declared equals minus float math dot a turn two enemy data vector dot expose minus player data vector vector dot expose uh, and then comma enemy data vector dot y pause minus player data vector dot y pause divided by pi times 180 plus 180 that's fine so far and the pitch one is uh, float uh, that's not minus that's math dot a turn enemy data dot z pause minus player data vector dot z pause and then we get the 3d distance and we close those and we do times 180 divided by that that's fine so far and then we write the float which is at the main player address and the player base plus main player that offsets oh that's the error right there you idiot the beauty of copy and paste hopefully that's our only error well, let's find out let's find out bam, bam, bam. See, go there. Oh, there you go, beauty. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Come to daddy. As you can see, so there you go. Not aiming anywhere right now. As soon as he spawns, it's gonna snap at him. There you go. There he is. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, where is he? Let's go after him. Remember, we still got the console tray in the background. This has got nothing to do with that. That's where we have unlimited ammo. Because remember, this is from my how to hack any game tutorial. Where is it? There it is. So don't worry about this. This is just our old one. We can turn it off. It doesn't matter. But we're not going to turn it off because it's useful, isn't it? So that's it. I mean, that's it pretty much, guys. Um, you can now you can download the final solution from the description. Obviously, um, these guys, you know, look at that beauty. Come on. Um, you can download. The only time this won't work is, for example, if I'm just above the enemy and I do aiming. Like, for example, not like this, but I'm going to show you here. Look. And the reason why that doesn't go down any lower is because the game is restricted you to aiming, like, as you can see, I can't aim very low. Actually, I can. That's weird. So I wonder why it wasn't working. I don't know. It's probably a small mistake in the maths. But other than other than that, it works in all situations. It's a good aimbot. Um, there's slightly better ways to do certain things that I did. But in most cases, I think I took the best approach to everything. We did not uh, We pro did some good practice on the code. It was, it was decent code, definitely. Uh, feel free to go over the code. Download my solution from the description, which should have uh, quite a few comments if, if you didn't understand anything. It will also have addresses up to four players, so check out 
So if I show you it here, as you can see, on my version, it's got uh, three other enemies other than you. So feel free to check those out. The addresses will be a little bit different, but that's fine. You can find your own addresses, and but yours, my my addresses should work on yours also just fine. Um, I believe that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. It, um, I don't know how long it lasted, but it was probably a couple of hours. Um, it was quite a bit of work for me to do, so please leave a like. I really appreciate it. Um, what else have I got? I've got uh, probably a version of this coming soon uh, for C++. I expect to be doing um, a C Sharp ESP tutorial as well soon. Uh, I can't give exact times because these things take time to develop, guys. So as soon as I develop things, I put them out for you guys. Uh, but I've been b a bit busy recently, so I don't know. Um, hopefully, I'll release it soon. Once I do develop, I'll let you guys know anyway. Um, yeah, I'm happy with how the tutorial turned out. We didn't make many mistakes. Um, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. I don't think I've forgotten anything. I'm just going to check my notes quickly to make sure I haven't. Um, yeah, feel free. If you if you want that point scan tutorial, I'm sure most of you guys understand. If you don't, then I'll happily do it. Just let me know and I'll do the tutorial in a couple of days. That won't be a problem. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this, guys. I really enjoyed making it. Um, and um, yeah, see you guys later then. Bye.